Shalom, Yisraelite queens. Today, we're going to discuss baldness and the inability for our people to grow hair, as well as weaves and the cancer connection and poisonous hair care products that are on the market for us. Many of you are already aware, but there's so many more of us that are not aware that the scriptures actually speak about baldness amongst our people. Our men are balding as well as part of this curse. And guess what? They're also getting weaves. Yes, that's right. Men, our Israelite men are getting weaves to cover up this baldness that they have. Whether it be a baldness that they purposely induced, you know, because they wanted a bald head and now they want it, want hair, or whether it's due to part of this curse of losing their hair at an early age. Many of us find it extremely difficult or impossible to grow our hair to the desired length. So we resort to weaves and wigs in order to fill in the gap for the hair that we do not have. Many of us with professional careers are prohibited from wearing our own natural hair in its natural state. Because let's face it, our bosses of other nationalities and counterparts are intimidated at the sight of our heavenly woolly locks. I am actually appalled at articles that I've seen and they personally said things such as our hair looks uncombed or untamed, unsightly, unprofessional looking. The only way to please them is when we change the natural texture and shape of our own hair into styles similar to styles of their own peoples that they wear. Unfortunately, this is totally wreaking havoc on our scalp and hair, causing premature balding and the inability to grow our own hair. Unfortunately, these are things that we have to go through if we want to be able to pay our bills and to eat in this society. There are other styles that pull out our hair, such as braids when it's braided too tightly, weaves and wigs, especially wigs with glued and taped adhesive. It wreaks havoc on our edges and many of our women walk away with no edges at all. Relaxers, also known as perms, have been known to cause bald spots, hair loss, and scalp burns. Excessive use of heat also is another culprit when it's used on a daily basis. It wreaks havoc on our hair. Houston-based dermatologist Dr. Milton Moore cites a condition known as folliculitis-induced alopecia, which occurs when bacteria goes down into the scalp and causes inflammation of the hair follicles, and it destroys them, making it impossible to grow hair back. There are a plethora of other conditions, such as medical conditions that cause hair loss, such as stress, medication, diet, thyroid imbalance, but I'm not going to speak on those things because I am not a medical doctor and I am not authorized to. Sisters, unbeknownst to us and the men that we love that are getting weaves, these weaves cause bacteria infections. Especially when the weather is hot, the scalp sweats profusely. The new sweat and the old sweat mix to form a perfect environment, a culture and growth of bacteria and fungi. As these germs feed on the scalp, the head becomes very, very itchy. During processing, a lot of the hair is dipped in an alkaline lye, which also causes itching. I know that you have seen and probably have done it yourself, slapped your scalp to try to get the itch out. Yes, it's toxic and it's pulling people's hair out. The bacterial fungus that is created from the weave causes a smell. And the only one that doesn't smell it is the one that's wearing the weave usually. All hair is hazardous, but especially places such as India, Brazil, and China, many of our Israelite women are using this hair, and diseases from that hair show up in their children and future generations through mysterious diseases and cancers. Scalp needs to breathe, sisters, so putting this foreign hair on top of our own hair interferes with our scalp's ability to breathe. Even the hair bonding glue has proven deadly to many of our Israelite sisters throughout the four corners of the earth. It claims lives every year. Yes, the bonding glue is claiming our sisters' lives. Especially when we sweat, the latex that's in the bonding glue seeps into our scalp, which is what causes the deaths for those that have latex allergies. There is so much money in this hair industry that they even take the hair off of dead people 
And a lot of that hair has flesh eating maggots in it and it barrels into our skin and causing the deaths. Get this sisters, sodium hydroxide. I'm sure many of you have never heard of it, but I'm sure that you heard, you've heard of lye before. What it is, is it is a lye or a caustic soda. It's an extremely corrosive and damaging to human tissue. And guess what? It's also used for soaps, for paper and petroleum products. It's used for oven cleaners and drain cleaners. And guess what else it's used with? That's right, relaxers that we put in our hair. Whether it's lye or no lye, it's used. There have been many lawsuits over the years with women complaining about hair loss. And a lot of these women never grow their hair back. And yet lace fronts are even causing cancer. Goodness gracious, with lace fronts mixed with all the chemicals together, there's no wonder we are getting sick and we're dying at the rate that we are. So you're probably wondering, okay, so what does this have to do with the scriptures? Well, take a look at Isaiah 3 sooner than later. It also speaks of pronouncements of judgment against Israel, much different than that in Leviticus 26 and Deuteronomy chapter 28. In verse 16, it says, the women in Zion walk with their noses in the air, making seductive glances, taking short little steps, jingling the ankle bracelets on their feet. The Almighty said that he's gonna cause sores to appear on our heads. The Almighty says that he's gonna make our foreheads bare, which is why a lot of our women don't have hair around the edges. Instead of the smell of sweet perfume, their smell will be of decay. They will wear ropes instead of belts. They will have bald heads instead of beautiful hair and their beauty will be scarred. Sisters, queens, beautiful bronzed skin. We have absolutely no reason whatsoever to be ashamed of our beautiful woolly locks. Why not? Because the almighty creator of heaven and earth and his son, our savior and the Messiah are recorded in the scriptures as having beautiful woolly hair and we are made in his image. It's time to get back to basics. Wear the hair the way our ancestors in the scriptures wore it. They also poured oil in their hair. All you need is a little bit of olive oil Matthew 6, 17, when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face. 1 Samuel 10, 1, then Samuel took a flask of olive oil and poured it on Saul's head. Yes, we use oil in our hair and we always have. Nothing fancy. It doesn't have to be those fancy products in the store, just olive oil. Psalm 133, See how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters live together in harmony. It's like fine scented oil on the head running down the beard. Yes, just get some olive oil. That's all you need. You don't need to buy these expensive products that are laden with all sorts of chemicals that are not good for us. Hey, if you're into growing your own food, gardening and stuff, then why not grow some olive trees? The actual olives from the tree, when you squeeze them and crush them, that's the extra virgin olive oil. But if you don't have that luxury of growing your own hay, go to any grocery store, you can find extra virgin olive oil anywhere. And you actually get a lot more than what you would get in those different hair products that you buy at the hair store. You know, I really sure do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it informative. If this video encouraged you to want to go natural and to actually start the process of going natural, please let me know. I would love to hear about it. Come join us on Facebook at Israelites Are Descendants of Slaves, where we discuss things such as this. I hope that this video was a blessing. And if it was, please pass it along, share it. With that, I say, be blessed, stay blessed, be a blessing to others. Go natural and shalom. If you like this presentation, be sure to click like. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. Otherwise, you will not get my notifications. And please always share.